Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. This is Sally and I'm Ed. Hey guys, and we have spent the last few days here in Kathmandu. So in today's video, we wanted to share with you guys the top six things we think you absolutely cannot miss whilst you are here. list of top six things to do here in Kathmandu is to visit Swayamhana, aka the Monkey Temple. It's one of the oldest religious sites in Nepal and it's set atop an amazing hill which overlooks the entirety of Kathmandu Valley. super easy. It's a 40 minute walk from Tamil or a 15 minute drive. You could get a taxi which would cost you around 350 rupees but if you are feeling adventurous the best way to get there is by bus. This will only cost you 20 rupees and it's seriously an experience in itself. <laughs> If you do get the bus, you will get dropped at the back of the complex outside the three Buddha statue, which is pretty cool because this is something that most people actually miss out on seeing. And from there, it's about a 15 minute walk up to the main stupa. If you are coming from the front entrance, however, just be warned that it is a really steep 365 stair climb to the top. If you are afraid of monkeys, this is not the temple for you. <laughs> there is an absolutely terrifying amount of monkeys here at this temple. And they keep making loud noises and fighting and I'm not sure they're friendly monkeys. This is like the Batu Caves all over again. Ooh. Ooh. The second on our list of six things to do here in Kathmandu is to visit Tamil. Tamil is the central tourist district here in Kathmandu and it's probably where you're going to end up after you leave the airport. Tamil is busy, it's vibrant, it's crazy. There are bars, cafes, restaurants. It's the perfect place to go if you need to book your trekking holiday, find a tour agent, pick up any trekking gear. You can pick up anything you need. Do I need this? It really is just the hub for tourists here in Kathmandu. Good. Nepal. Huh? Very good. on our list of things you absolutely cannot miss whilst you're here in Kathmandu is to just go out and try the local street food. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers, cheers. <laughs> I know that eating street food can seem a little bit daunting, especially if you're in a country for the very first time. But our advice is to look for the places that are really busy. People don't eat in places that make them sick. So if a place is busy, especially with local people, then you know you're pretty okay to eat there. The next place we're gonna be taking you guys to is a little bit of a hidden street food gem. And this place was recommended to us by our amazing Airbnb host, Raju. What makes this place special is if you didn't know it was here, you probably wouldn't know that this place existed. I don't know if you can tell right now, but we're pretty much sitting in someone's backyard. And we're about to eat one of the best things we have had since we've been here in Nepal. It is this amazing potato pancake, or aloo. If you can imagine, mashed potato that has been turned into a patty, crumbed and deep fried, filled with spices and jalapenos, then that is pretty much what you get. <laughs> mm, it's so good. And the craziest part is, guys, these are only 10 rupees each. That's like five cents. That was so yummy. <laughs> Fourth on our list is to visit the Baudanaut Stupa. This is the largest Buddha shrine here in Nepal and is the holiest outside of Tibet. It's incredibly rich in Buddhist symbolism and is the center of Tibetan culture here in Kathmandu. get to the town of Baldo, which is on the outskirts of Kathmandu, there are loads of buses. It's about 30 rupees on the bus, but if you want to jump in the taxi, it's going to set you back about 400 rupees. To get into the complex, it will set you back about 400 rupees, which is reasonable given how incredibly rich in Buddhist history this place is. Do 
There are loads of rooftop terraces as well. Make sure you do go up. From the rooftop, you have an amazing view of the entire complex. You can see the stupa, all the shrines surrounding it, and you can see the Himalayas in the background. It's absolutely stunning. list of things to do here in Kathmandu is to visit the historical city of Patan. Located 5 kilometers from Tamil, it'll cost you around 350 rupees in a taxi to get here or about 30 rupees by bus. Inside the Durba Square will set you back a thousand rupees, but you can easily spend half a day wandering through the temples and the museums, so it really is worth it. Just bear in mind when you do come to Patan, there is quite a lot of restoration work going on. It was quite badly damaged during the 2015 earthquake, but you can actually see the people fixing it. It's really incredible to see. Number six on our list, and by far the best thing we've done here in Kathmandu, is to learn to cook momos. This morning we're off to learn how to make our favorite Nepali cuisine, momos. We've booked through a company called Backstreet Academy. And the best part is we're gonna be learning how to make these momos inside of an actual Nepalese family home, which I'm so excited for. It was 19 US dollars each, but half of that goes straight to the family in cash, so you kind of know they're getting a reasonably good deal. Hey, and your names were? It was Purna. Purna, Purna, Purna yeah. and Dil. These are the amazing Purna guys. Purna means complete, Dil means hot. Yeah. I have not You're done so well. <laughs> <laughs> first, I don't be the first. Of course I'm going to say it tastes delicious because I made it, but it's delicious. We made an entire video dedicated to learning to cook momos, so it's just up here now. Check it out, it's well worth the watch. Subscribe if you haven't, because we love that. Guys, thank you so much for watching, we really hope you found this video helpful. And if you have any questions, please do comment down below, we'd be happy to answer any questions you guys do have. If you haven't already done so, please make sure you subscribe down below, we're going to give you 5 seconds on the clock. Five, four, three, two, one. We really hope you subscribe, like the video. And there's another bike coming. Why are we doing this? I'm never this is gonna a great get spot. a clam. <laughs> this is just too noisy. We'll see you guys in the next video. <laughs>